about realism, but I, I think more than more than the realism, it's the it's, it's the social issues and the social relevance of uh, the kind of stories that we are choosing, or the kind of stories that we are uh, interested to make it into a film or into a narrative. I think uh, the difference between the docu and what we are doing, there is a really thin line between those two. I think, which is in narrative storytelling. Uh, we are in control of the situation, most probably no, in the situation. Well, in the documentary, the character is most likely in control of the situation. Mm. That's 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 how I differentiate between those. Like what he said a while ago, there's a thin line, and this very, you know, it's it's very close to almost like a documentary. And I think that's the that's the strength, somehow of the filmmaking style that we are doing or, or of the statics that, that we have in our, in our cinema. We want to make a difference not only in our filmmaking style but basically of the choice of stories that we are doing uh, because there is a problem, there is a situation and because as, as, as a person and as a filmmaker we are acknowledging that, that means it has an effect on us as well. In our way of Telling stories is about uh, uh, showing the problems and making it into an art form so that the audience can uh, see it in a perspective which is there's no bias but the plain equality between the problem and the solution. It's about the objective before you make a film first. No. Are you going to make a film that's going to make money or are you going to make film to tell a story? If, if your story is not well researched and then most probably you become lack of uh, ideas and lack of information. information to tell and that will lead you to the, the, dishonesty. the dishonesty thing. There are some, you know, the objective is not clear because they want to tell a story but at the same time they want also you know another they want also they want to uh, explore some other things other than telling truthful stories mm -hmm. because you cannot have your cake and eat it too you cannot have you know uh, two things to agenda at the same time it has to be it has to be very clear uh, to the film, filmmaker from the very start so if if it is not clear uh, in your heart uh, why you want to do such stories or why you're making such film, then uh, you are on the wrong foot already. I think first and foremost, before you make films, you know what kind of films you're going to make first. Are you going to make a realism film about social issue or are you just making a social issue films in your own perspective? I mean, I don't think there should there should be like 100% authenticity because it doesn't exist, you know. Because at the end of the day, you you have your camera, you have your actors. Uh, there is also a limitation in terms of uh, uh, what you can show to the public because uh, you have a responsibility as well, you know, as, as as a filmmaker. It's not just about yourself. It's not just about your art. There is a responsibility to you know a certain sector of the society, so um, I think that's also responsible filmmaking. You should tell your story in a simple line. You know? That's your own limitation. Beyond that, maybe you could mis uh, misinterpret lots of things. Mm -hmm. You have to address your voice in a simple manner, in in a way that many people would understand. That is not too offend. That would not be offensive. Yes, that would yeah. not be offensive. offensive also, yes. because I think there's a way of doing it. Uh, you don't have to be too explicit about uh, mm. about your about your intent or about because I think um, to make it even more effective, you can tell it in a simple way. You know, a complex situation can be told in a simple way, yes. in a simple manner.